Bose home speakers are the best smart speakers for music. In this video, we'll go over the basic features and controls on your home speaker. On the left side of your speaker, you will see the action button and the microphone off button. These are used to control the voice assistant supported in your region, such as Amazon Alexa or your Google Assistant. After you've set up your voice assistant, just tap the action button and then say your request. To stop any alarms, timers, or what your voice assistant is saying, tap the action button. You can also use a wake-up word. For Amazon Alexa, start your request with Alexa. For your Google Assistant, start your request with Hey Google. When you tap the microphone off button, it will glow solid red and the microphones will be disabled. It will not hear any voice commands. Tapping it again will turn the microphones back on. The volume and playback controls are located in the center. Tap or hold the volume down or volume up buttons to adjust the volume. Tap the play pause button to pause or play your music. You can also double tap to skip forward, triple tap to skip backwards, or tap and hold to put the speaker into standby mode. Please note, while in standby mode, you can still access your voice assistant. On the right side of the speaker is the aux and Bluetooth source buttons. Tap aux if you wish to connect a device using a 3.5mm audio cable. Tap Bluetooth if you wish to stream your music wirelessly from a mobile device. Finally, you have your six preset buttons. You can set these to play your favorite albums, songs, playlists, music services, or radio stations. Please note, you can't set presets when streaming from Bluetooth, auxiliary, or if initiated from a voice command. You can only set presets with audio that began playing from within the Bose Music app. While music is playing, tap and hold the preset button until you hear a tone. Now you can access that same music at any time with a simple touch of a button. For additional support, visit our website.